everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna be doing a luxury jewelry collection kind of what i wear on a day-to-day -day basis and some of my favorite pieces i've done a lot of unboxings and reviews on shoes and bags and random vlogs but i haven't really touched on my jewelry it's something that is very important to me i don't like to leave the house without something on my ears neck hands fingers so if you guys are interested in my jewelry collection then definitely keep watching also i want to shout out sarah miller you can also search her channel sarah kate beauty her uploads are also very similar to mine she covers beauty fashion and lifestyle she's into luxury items and a lot of her videos cover reviews on some beauty products she does hauls try-ons so if you like watching my content and i'm sure you'll enjoy watching her content so go over to her channel and subscribe to her as well. So to start with, I always have a few rings on my fingers and I have done an unboxing of one of my recent ones. So on my left hand on my middle finger, I wear this Hermes silver ring. It's called the small CDC ring. And when I did my unboxing on this, I did mention it's sterling silver. The two studs on the side are my favorite parts on it because it makes it look a little bit edgier along with the dangle that's right here. I just like to add this to my collection because a lot of the time I have yellow gold on and so this kind of breaks it up and I like mixing silver and gold. So that I just keep on this hand. And then on my right hand, on my, what would be my ring finger on my left hand, I have this diamond eternity band and it's kind of more of a chain look instead of just a traditional single band. Again, I just think it gives a little edgier look. And I'm always using this one to stack on top of my Cartier love ring. And this one is yellow gold. I got both of these rings, I think a couple years ago or maybe a few years ago, but I definitely don't leave the house without throwing these on. The yellow gold, as I'm sure a lot of you know, scratches very easily, so it is hard to keep perfect and shiny, but from a distance, you can really tell. It's just if you look up close, there's kind of a lot of scratches on it. The silver one too is also prone to a lot of scratches, but right now it's looking good still. I haven't had too many things come in contact with it. Originally, I wanted this one on my index finger, but I've switched to my middle finger just because right now, I think when I'm like holding things or grabbing things, my middle finger tends to come in less contact with items. So I've been wearing it on my middle finger. And also before I got these rings, I sized them so that they would be able to fit on all of my fingers, except I'm not sure I can fit on my thumb, but for the most part, they can fit on my middle three fingers so that's good and then when i'm putting them away like before shower and stuff i keep them all in just one ring holder case thing so i don't have to deal with so many boxes so right now since the hermes one is the newest i have the box here and i put that ring in the main slit and then when i take off the eternity band i just set it in there and the cartier one i also set so they're all three together and then i just take the lid and close it and they're all packed into one because I usually don't just throw on one of them. I have all three, so I like to just keep it all together. And for my favorite everyday earrings, I like to wear my new off-white ones that I purchased during Christmas time. They're 100% brass and I got the silver ones, not the gold ones. I just love how much they shine and how big they are and how much it covers my earlobe. I've had them for like less than a month and I've already gotten compliments on them. They're super cute. Off-white is very trendy right now. A lot of people recognize the arrows. And so again, those I like to mix up with all of the yellow gold that I usually have on. And so these I just store in the case that it came with. It has has this plastic over it and then I could just set them in this soft spongy thing. The other earrings that I like to throw on are these Hermes ones. They're yellow gold with black enamel and so it's the H for Hermes. I like to wear it when I wear this bracelet. These are just cute little studs and they definitely show up when I'm wearing my hair up just because of the black on my skin you can definitely see it. But yeah these are called the Hermes Pop H earrings. I also wear these gold Louis Vuitton earrings. These these ones I've had for quite a while now, but they're cute because they're kind of like mix match looking. It's sold together, but this one is the LV logo and this one is the 
their like flower thing. And so they're just cute because they're dangly earrings and they're super lightweight so I can barely feel them. So I have these gold ones, I have the Hermes black and gold and then the off-white. They're all three kind of a different look. So just depending on what I'm wearing or what I feel like wearing, I can just decide between those three. Those are like my three favorite luxury earrings that I pull out all the time. Now for the jewelry that I wear on my wrists, I have this Hermes Click H bracelet. You can easily take it off. You just push it together. You slide the H up and then you just pull it and my wrist comes right out. This one is black enamel with gold hardware. This bracelet also comes with like silver, rose gold hardware with a lot of different color enamels. But again, I just love the dramatic look with black and yellow gold. So yeah, just open it, slide your wrist in. You push it slightly and flip the H up and it locks in. And then I always stack it with this Louis Vuitton. It's called the Nano Monogram bracelet. Sometimes it's hard to know which way to push the lock open, but you just slide it like this and it undoes itself. So it comes in multiple sizes. This one is 17 and here's the inside and the monogram canvas outside with the yellow gold hardware. I just like to stack it with the Hermes bracelet just so it's a bolder look. So we have the black and the brown. Sometimes I'll split them up and wear this one with a more looser bracelet here. But on a day-to-day -day basis, I usually have my Apple Watch on. And then for my necklace, I never take it off. I always have this Van Cleef & Arpels. It's this sweet Alhambra mother of pearl necklace. I'll insert a picture since I can't really go close enough to show, but the mother of pearl, it really shines in the light. But yeah, I can keep this one on in the shower and stuff. It is. 18 karat gold, this whole chain is in the clasp and the outlining of this. Yeah, I love how elegant this Van Cleef necklace is. It definitely softens up the look when I'm wearing black and yellow accessories. Van Cleef makes a lot of these necklaces and bracelets with fun colors too. They have bright blue, pink, green, red, black. But this one is definitely timeless and I will have it forever. So those are all of my items from my rings to my bracelets to my Apple Watch and necklace. These are my everyday grab and go or keep on accessories that I can say are great quality. Definitely worth looking into if you're wanting long-term luxury jewelry. They're luxurious and expensive for a reason. They're to be worn all the time, enjoy all the time, and even passed down to future kids and grandkids. I know my mom has her whole set and one day I'm fortunate to be handed down all of her items to even add to what I already have. I'm lucky I'm the only girl child. I have one brother so I will be collecting all of her jewelry. So yeah, I hope you guys thought this video was interesting and enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below which item is your favorite or if you have any of the same. I'd love to hear what you guys think about these items or if you're considering getting any of the same. You can ask me about sizing, color, or pretty much anything. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll see you guys next time.